fellow readers, this is Mrs. Weidman, and today I'm going to tell you all about The Last Quintista, um, the 100th anniversary Newbery Medal winner and the uh, winner for the 2022 Newbery Medal year. Um, this is by far one of the best science fiction books that I have read in a long time, and it's also just one of the best books, period, that I have read in the past few years. Um, not only are the characters remarkable and well-developed, but the plot is gripping and action-packed and just super profound as well. Um, so this book actually follows a young girl, and her name is Petra. And at the beginning of the story, Petra lives on an Earth that is dying, right? And the people of Earth know that in a few days' time, Halley's Comet is going to crash into Earth, and it's going to cause this chain of reaction of cataclysmic events that is pretty much guaranteed to destroy life on planet Earth. And so what a couple of governments do, right, is they decide, well, we've got to save our people, right? We have to be able to preserve humanity. So the United States gets together and they create three ships, right? The first ship is a bunch of builders who are going to go and terraform the new world. The second ship is a bunch of scientists, right, and their children. And then the third ship is actually going to be a whole bunch of politicians, right, or political leaders, Right. However, on the days that the ships launch, things don't necessarily go as planned, right? And so Petra isn't really able to say a really long goodbye to her family. And she and her family are kind of rushed on board the scientist ship because her parentists are botanists and geologists, right? And they're rushed into their cryotubes where they're actually going to stay asleep for hundreds of years, right? Petra and her family have actually been selected to be um, asleep for 370 years as this new ship travels across the galaxy and hopefully gets to a planet, Alpha Centauri, which is habitable, like habitable, right? And they call the new planet Sagan, right? And Petra is really nervous about this. She doesn't really want to leave everyone behind. However, she knows that it's necessary. And then things kind of get worse when Petra reawakens 370 years later, and she discovers that she is one of the only people on board the ship who remembers what Earth was like, who remembers the Earth of her childhood, and also remembers all of the st stories that Earth passed down and all the wonderful things that the humans of Earth contributed, like art and music and story. Right To make things even more scarier for Petra, when she wakes up, she discovers that she's actually one of the only people who remembers her name as well. Right, and that's because this sinister group of people, the people who were in charge of making sure that the scientists got safely right to their new planet of Sagan, right, they actually kind of became this evil group known as the Collective, who's trying to purge, right, and erase anything and everything that can remember Earth, because they're trying to build a new, better humanity. Right, and Petra kind of quickly realizes that the Collective, even though their intentions are good, right, their methods aren't necessarily for the best of humanity, right? So she kind of tries to figure out, well, what happened on the ship? Where did a lot of the passengers who were on the ship go, right? And then what can she do to make sure that the stories of Earth are saved and protected for future generations? So if you like sci-fi stories, if you love action-packed, gripping books that really make you think about what humanity is and what about what makes us good, right? Then I highly recommend The Last Quintista. I hope to see you all online soon.